Hello friends, this is Professor T.B. Ule, working as a system professor at the Department of Agriculture and Technology at KK Wag College of Agriculture and Biotechnology. The cultural, mechanical, physical method of the integrated pest management, we will go through this topic. Uh, our topic is very interesting, that is initiation of the integrated pest management tactics. Tools of tools or methods of IPM which we have seen in last hour lectures that preventive methods are including those transfer systems, legal control, cultural control, where the curative methods include physical, mechanical, chemical, biological uh, use of the IGR. Today we will uh, go through this first steps of this integrated pest management which comprises all the possible methods like legal, cultural, physical, mechanical, chemical, biological methods in a unit compatible manner which are very associated with closely each other and having ultimate aim to control paste. These are some tools uh, cultural, physical, mechanical, biological, legal, chemical method which are used for the act to prevent the attack of the paste. So cultural control method includes the sub topics like use of the resistant varieties like Bt cotton uh, it escapes the attack of the bolomes to the cotton. Pill sanitization and the clean cultivation should be implemented <coughs> before planning of the crop. Tillage operations are very important. Even the uh, we should apply organic amendments at the time of land preparation so it avoid the paste attack to the this uh, soil born paste. Time of sowing or planting or it should be avoided with the late transplanting that it should escape the paste attack. Follow the proper crop rotation, crop rotation, avoid the monoculture practices of the crops. Use of the trap crop to attack the natural enemy and the paste on the trap crop which will save the main crop. Use the intercropping with uh, the different geometrical, uh, geometry required crops with from the canopy and lice. It should not be compared with the sunlight and nutrition. Balanced use of the chemical fertilizer leads to the uh, least attack of the uh, second paste. Pruning of the affected plant parts, it also minimizes the uh, density of the branches, so it will also help to uh, control the paste. Earlier, think of in the crops like potato or the sugarcane or the turmeric leads to this population of the uh, soil borne insects. Flooding, alternate flooding, flooding and drying to the field is also leads to minimize the attack of the paste like rat or the crab in the field. Clipping of rice seedling tips at the time of transplanting leads to minimize the attack of this yellow stem borer. Removal and destruction of the all wild grasses and alternate host in the field also help to reduce the attack of the pest to uh, by surviving the on alternate host. Profuse and timely irrigation also required for the uh, healthy growth of the plant and even the water stress condition also leads to the pest attack. About the rotten cropping in sugarcane or sorghum when their if area is affected by with the hill with the this is the example of the cultural cultural methods that is a deep line where with the help of the birds we can control the insect very well with the help of bird purchase trap crop can be implemented through this solanus uh, vegetable along with the marigold intercropping with the java and tur is also very important trap crop. The uh, date of sowing and transplanting can be harmonized. Balanced nutrition should be given. The excess use of the chemical should not be applied in the field. Balanced irrigation, even the resistant susceptible varieties should be planted before the um, planning for this uh, crop plan. So the, the early earthing up and tillage operations also having the very great role in the field for the pest management through the cultural events. So this is the castor is a uh, border crop or trap crop used for the cotton in cotton to utter the lipid caterpillar. This is a uh, uh, intercrop with sugar can move. It is the intercrop cotton with moving gram. This is intercropping with cotton with maize. This is earlier thing of sugar cane. This is a flooding of rice field to minimize the attack of this uh, hopper. The another one is the mechanical method. Mechanical control method is one of the by method by which insect population is directly heat or mechanical devices or manual operations. So it can be avoided, it can be escaped or it can be controlled. It can be trapped 
through different mechanical devices. First is the collection and destruction of the insects of the or their stages. But first is the hand picking and destruction of the live stages of the insect pest. The use of hand nets and the um, use of the hand nets is used for the control for the catching, trapping the insect. The use of the iron hook for the removal of the rhinoceros beetle from the coconut plant. Beating with the brooms the branches of the um, higher trees for the prevent the uh, feeding or uh, aggregating of the white grub. Shaking the host plant trees is also very important uh, during the pest management of the white grub. Sieving and winnowing is uh, related with the store gain products to escape the attack. Uh, rope dragging in rice for the rice uh, liberating caterpillar. So this very particular mechanical methods followed it for the pest management. This is the collection of the insect with nets. This is the uh, iron hook used for the removal of the uh, uh, mango stringer and adult beetle of the rhinoceros beetle. So this is very particular device. This is rope dragging to avoid infestation of the rice case. One. Mechanical exclusion of the preventive barriers with the devices that is like the collar around the plants. Placing of the tin bands for the coconut sticky band on the grape or the custard apple trenches around the fields, bagging of the fruits for the prevent the attack of the fruit fly or fruits anymore. Use of the ant pans, uh, screening of the houses, bird scarer. These are some mechanical exclusion or preventive barriers. The devices. This is mechanical pyramid trap, zero circuit trap, polythene production sheet. Sheet is a place to the stay. This is the covering these uh, bed nursery bed with narrow mesh that prevent the exclusion of the pest. This is the uh, collection and destruction of the egg masses as well as the grown up tree. The polythene sheet or alphabetic sheet is also placed over the uh, plant surface. This is uh, by covering the fruit or bagging the fruit with the help of the air uh, cutting back, pruning up the um, uh, after the branches hook out uh, the rhinoceros beetle with iron hook uh, out dragging this is the protecting the collar uh, using the plastic collar for the reservoir to reduce the water runoff also prevent the snail from the reaching to come under plants it is very uh, useful mechanical device to protect the plant this is the uh, copper impregnated metal with the help of a repel sludge to the uh, to deter the cabbage root plant our uh, colors also in the prevent the weeds and germination. This kind of uh, plant protection inputs or some devices or some methodologies, some tactics are utilized in the field to prevent the insect attack. So, these tin bands fix over the uh, coconut or palm trees to avoid the uh, attack of the rodents like rats or squirrel. So, this is very common practice which is found in the coconut growing area to avoid the attack of the rats. The pasting with uh, some oily material or sticky material like grease or the sticky bands which prevent the entry of the uh, entry or the upward movement from of the insect from the ground to the uh, canopy. So this is very effective against the control of the milliwork in the grape, in pomegranate, even in the custard apple. So this is very particular uh, methods by which we can minimize the attack. The digging of trenches around the fields it is uh, helpful for the migration of the rice army one prevented by digging the 60 by 60 centimeter trenches which help to avoid the attack of the army one from one field to another field. Bagging of the fruits escape the fruit fly attack and the fruits became more in pomegranate, in mango, citrus, even in other crops also in banana, the bagging or skirting or uh, covering the bags, uh, covering the fruits with the bag, very essential for the control of the paste and avoid the future loss. So this is the use of the ant pants at the base of the, at the foot of the stand or the tray of the anivirating colony. So this also escape the attack of the ants or the uh, and uh, disturbing the colony by the ants. This is the solar pod scarer which helps to uh, escape the birds from the from our cereal crop feeding area. This type of 
human being mimicry uh, bird scare can be implemented can be installed in the field to avoid the pest attack like the cause use of the mechanical devices like light traps experiment traps fund and trap for fly trap data trap water trap yellow trap blue stick trap fish mill trap so these are the, all the traps air suction trap and even the flame throw throw can be used to control the pest this is also one mechanical device this is light trap which attracted the nocturnal insects like moths and beetles during the light even the white grub is attracted to the great extent and having very great impact on the pest management concept this is thermal trap utilized for the management of the paste this is a delta trap which is also uh, used for the attracting the small insects this is a fruit fly trap attracted the many fruit flies in cucurbits and hive trees this is yellow and blue sticky trap placed in the field to control the paste the game paste especially white fan injustice this is a flame thrower which used to control the insect flying insects which is unable to catch by the hand or by the net the bird watchers can be established in the field to control the uh, natural uh, insects by natural way the most of the caterpillars is being consumed by these popularly known birds around this our field uh, this is physical method uh, that the use of light or use of the temperature or use of the moisture for the pest management first is the petromax light is uh, burn during the night or the burning the fire which repels the insect attack the light traps uh, uh, can be implemented trying of the grains under the sun also <coughs> drying of the grains <coughs> under the sun is also one of the method to remove the moisture hot water treatment cold water cold storage control atmospheric storage with a definite amount of the oxygen and carbon dioxide level so this is also important physical method for the pest control <coughs> application of heat that is uh, hitting the empty godowns above 50 degrees celsius kills the hibernating st store again paste exposing infested grains to the sun in summer also kills store again paste also flame thrower is used for the low control of the loc locust application of the cold <coughs> refrigeration with 5 to 10 degrees celsius of edible and including dry foods which kill the insects in many of insects which can fail to multiply below 10 degrees celsius even the potato is also preferred to store under low temperature manipulation of the moisture draining away the standard water in the field it uh, reduces the mosquito reproduction reducing the moisture content from the grains below 8 percent can save only from the most of the insects so during the storage of the grains <coughs> moisture should be placed at 8 percent the radio activity the higher frequency radio waves is generated through the 80 degrees is the temperature in grains to kill the beetles male insects can be mixed around with the gamma radiation manipulation of the soil with the steam sterilization of the soil can be done to kill the soil upon insect and nematodes very easily sound waves can be produced with ultrasonic waves at 100 kilo cycles per 40 4 to 30 minutes at a high wires has been found it to lethal to the most of insects there are some merits of this method it gives the immediate results these methods are generally popular and deliver to the farm as results is being observed immediately after the implementation <coughs> insects are killed by the physical action hence environmentally very safe the merits these methods are time consuming and costly uh, these methods are useful only when they are when much more damage has done special equipment is required for heating and refrigeration so this can't be practically on large area so thank you for your kind attention this video is, is, in, uh, is prepared for the uh, academic purpose not for the commercial purpose thank you